What's up, everybody? It is Lance Muser here with a news video. Uh, yeah, figured uh, we would go through some news today. It is October 2nd, I believe. Yep, Monday, October 2nd. Doesn't seem like a lot is going on, but uh, always fun to talk gaming news and see what you guys are playing. Kind of maybe give you a status update on what we're playing right now and, and what else is going on. But uh, uh, always appreciate all the support and let's jump right in. So uh, VGC News is a website we uh, frequent pretty often. So um, kind of scrolling through here today. Doesn't appear to be a ton going on, at least not much new since um, last week, I guess. Activision has offered the first look at Call of Duty Warzone's new map. Um, this is fairly new because I just checked this earlier and didn't see anything. Okay, so they got a tweet out kind of, I guess, uh, teasing the, uh, the new Call of Duty live stream. Okay, that's going to be October 5th, 9 a.m. Is anybody picking up Call of Duty? Kind of curious on that. Um, not sure I'm going to pick it up this year. I picked up, uh, I believe, last year. Played Warzone a bit. But uh, there's just so many games, so much going on. It's it's hard to, I don't know. You pick a constant game, at least for me, it's like you pick a constant game and you pick other games up here and there uh, kind of on the side. But it's just so easy to go off on these tangents of other games. Um, anyways, Sony announced another Spider-Man 2 console bundle which is interesting because they already announced one sony launched spider-man 2 special edition ps5 bundle in september so let's see containing the standard ps5 console and a voucher to download spider-man 2 the bundle will launch alongside insomniac's game on october 20th okay so it's interesting pricing and pre-order details for the bundle weren't available at the time of publishing so i guess it's just a um white console with spider-man 2 Versus this was a special edition, it looks like, maybe. Uh, Epic Game Director. Epic Games Director of publishing, uh, publishing Strategy is leaving the company, which is interesting. There was a, um, uh, in a statement released Monday, uh, Gallenkin said today is his last day at the Fortnite Maker. Uh, it's unclear if his departure is directly related to widespread job cuts at Epic last week. Thinking about them, of course, saw those uh, job cuts and the layoffs um, just unfortunate. The company announced plans to lay off around 830 employees or 16% of its total workforce, which is crazy, crazy. Thinking about all those folks. Um, there was something else that was interesting too. Um, blizzards. So we'll scroll through here and see if we see it. Uh, let's see, uh, upgrade. Okay. The WWE 2K22 server shut down. They'll close in January. Team 17 reportedly planning significant job losses. I did see this. Um, this is uh, Worms Overcooked moving out. Okay, all those games. So again, unfortunate. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember. The, is this time of year that we see this kind of stuff, unfortunately? Um, let's see. KFC Awards Zelda player. 10K chicken trophy for 11 herbs and spices speed run. That's funny. Fans are calling Sonic Frontiers DLC the hardest gameplay in any Sonic game. Very interesting. Anybody playing Sonic Frontiers? I've seen coverage on it here and there, obviously, when it released, but uh, uh, not checked it out myself. We haven't checked it out. Um, let's see. Let's keep scrolling here. A newly discovered Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Bug can crash the game at the final battle. Speaking of games we're playing... Um, just kind of not necessarily all over the place, but playing several things right now. And uh, we were going through our Pokemon card collection, organizing some things and uh, potentially for the collecting channel over there and uh, started up a fresh playthrough of Scarlet and Violet. So I uh, was going to start where I was, um, but like always, you come back and it's like, man, I kind of just want a fresh start. So yeah, started up a, a fresh playthrough of Scarlet and Violet. Always fun. Uh, if you guys play curious, um, and, and just a, uh, shout out, of course, um, check out our collecting channel. We do have, uh, uh, several videos up now, unboxings, a, a short posted. So right now it'll be primarily Pokemon unboxing and things like that, but definitely check that out. Shout out to our discord, jump in our discord to hang out with all of our awesome community members, talk all the things from movie to food, to collecting, to games. Um, you can. Check us out on Twitter, of course, uh, gaming channel where you're at now, and then Lance Muser YouTube. Uh, first video going up on that channel, hopefully at some point. I did record one 
but uh, not sure we're going to post that one just because we had some overlay issues and stuff like that. So we'll see. Anyways, moving back over. Let's see here, VG. See what else we got. Watch us unbox the extremely rare, extremely rare Liza P limited edition. Dying Lights 2 roadmap includes new missions, new, new difficulty, and more. Anybody playing Dying Light 2? Curious uh, how that is. That's pretty much the gist of it on VGC for today. So far, nothing too crazy. Um, if we jump over here, let's look at pure Xbox, see if we got anything going on in the Xbox world. I have been... Okay, so anybody playing Cyberpunk? Did you play it previously or are you playing it now? Is it a fresh... like? Is this your first time playing it right now with a 2.0 update? Been seeing the game all over my feeds enough that I've been kind of checking it out. Uh, didn't play it initially. Obviously, all the bugs and stuff at launch, but apparently... The game is, uh, you know, they're talking, comparing it with Starfield here again, apparently on the internet, but uh, apparently the game's pretty awesome. And it obviously likely was previously, just, you know, it had all the negative press because of the the bugs and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, let us know if you're playing Cyberpunk. Curious if it's something we should think about checking out at some point. Um, uh, necessary shout out. We were just talking in Discord. Can't believe Spider-Man 2 is already almost out. That's likely, I don't know when that, I don't know when I'm going to get to that, but uh, that game is, I'm sure, going to be awesome. We kind of likely know what to expect there. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Here's the reviews are saying about the new High on Knife DLC. 10 new Xbox game to look forward to in October. What do we got here? I'm going to guess... Um, one that I'm thinking of. Warhammer, Assassin's Creed, Forza, Lords of the Fall. And this is the one I was thinking of. Uh, this game looks awesome. But, and, and maybe you could venture to say Zelda is, or there's another one out there I'm forgetting about. But man, I want a game in this style, like an Elden Ring, that's like colorful and bright and, you know, instead of the grays and the dark. I know that's kind of the theme of those games, regardless of the developer, but uh metal gear master collection okay i didn't realize that was this month ghost runner 2 alan wake 2 i've seen that all of the feeds uh let's see ufc interesting plenty of stuff coming out what are you guys playing curious let us know not a whole lot uh there's always something going on in each of the ecosystems but it doesn't look like a ton of news in the xbox world today uh let's see here Six games will leave xbox game pass in early october let's see what these are real quick i think i looked at this list Okay, here we go. Got it. All right, what do we got to push square here? Let's see. The Expanse, a Telltale series. Um, so that's a review, so that's obviously out. Curious if you guys are playing that. I think I've started that show, but didn't watch it a ton. Um, I did see where uh, this article isn't pertaining to that, but uh, is it Jim Ryan that's retiring from PlayStation? So that's interesting. Um, interesting news there. Not a whole lot here in the PlayStation world. I know, was it a week or two ago, a potential cybersecurity breach? I haven't seen uh, or a security breach. Um, I haven't seen too much covered on that, so unless I'm missing something. Uh, yeah. UK charts. Obviously, I believe these websites are out of the UK. Mortal Kombat 1 developer teases future Ghostface Jigsaw DLC villainy. Interesting. All right. Moving on, Nintendo Life. Let's see. Switch 2 doesn't really need backwards compa compatibility, really. I don't know about that. I guess if it's digital, it's all good. Uh, some stuff I don't own digital on Switch, though, because me and the kiddos share the cartridge. Uh, so that's an interesting, interesting aspect. Upcoming Proteus DLC, The Elder Veil, vale, looks utterly ridiculous and brilliant. For a second, I thought that was... Um, oh, man, I'm forgetting that game that just came out that... Unfortunately, didn't do too well. Totally forgetting what that game was. Um, uh, Avium something? I cannot. It's not coming to me. It almost did. Horizon Chase 2. That game looks cool. Uh, remember the original. 20 exciting new games coming to Nintendo Switch in October. Let's check it out. Got a little theme going on here with their websites. Uh, let's see. Anything stand out here? Borderlands 3 Ultimate Edition. Detective Pikachu Returns. Batman Arkham Trilogy will be on Switch. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. That's already October. Okay. I guess I didn't look at the release date when they started talking about that on the live stream they had the other day. All right. Nothing 
too crazy standing out to me there. What else we got? The next Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Seven Star Terror Raid Battle event kicks off this week. I won't be anywhere near the level probably I need to be for this, um, but still very cool. You can see where you can get lost in that game pretty easily. Uh, what else we got? Nothing too crazy going on, everybody. Curious what you're playing? Let us know. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1 might reveal a surprise at New York Comic Con 2023. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom news channel giving out free in-game items. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so nothing too crazy going on. Uh, if we missed anything, drop it in the comments below and let's chat about it. Let us know your thoughts on all this good stuff. Um, yeah, what are you playing right now? We're playing Fortnite, Roblox, uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Sea of Stars. Bought an awesome little gem of a game called Let's Build a Zoo on Switch. Game's super fun. Saw it in an article. I forget what website I was on talking about what games their writers or their website uh, creators play when they're taking a break between big games. Yeah, so Let's Build a Zoo. Uh, thanks for that shout out. Again, forgetting the website, but uh, that game is super fun. Uh, very fun. Way more depth than I thought it would be, and it was ten ninety nine on Switch. Uh, what else we playing? Starfield, of course. Got back to it a little bit this weekend, so that's been fun. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Let us know down below what you're playing. Thanks again, of course, for all the support. Jump in our Discord. Jump in our Discord because we're having a good time in there. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Don't forget to check out In Muser Collecting and Lance Muser. And if you want to feed a place just to check out all the content you can go to the patreon and and we post all the videos there across all the channels so yeah as always thanks so much for all the support we see you guys subscribing it means a lot and until next time take care